We're back with another edition of Beach and Beyond, and this week we are at Assateague Island with my very best friend, Hi, naturalist, buddy. Jim Rapp. <laughs> and Jim's gonna, you know, we all know Assateague is great in the summertime, yes, and is. we visit in the summer. Jim's gonna talk to us about why Assateague is a great place to visit in the fall. Jim, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Lisa. So it's good to see you. It's good to see you. I never get to see you. So right, gotta get me out to the island. That's where I like to hang so out. So tell us about what kinds of things people can do in the fall out here and what they'll expect to see and why it's just a great place to come out here and enjoy this beautiful fall weather. <laughs> What's really great about Assateague in the fall that I like, I mean, just, well, two things. One, we still have warm days and those cool nights. So even though it's not nighttime now, bonfire on the beach in September, October is perfect. Beautiful. But right now it's like room temperature, nice little breeze. The bugs aren't very bad. But in the marsh, one thing we're looking at right now, I'm not looking at a bird through the scope, but at least if you want to take a look, you can see there's salicornia out there. It's a little succulent plant that lives in the marsh. And what's nice about this time of year is not only do the leaves start to turn colors on the trees that we have, but even in the marsh, that color red is just it's so different. And that's a fall event in the salt marsh. So things that I like to do at Assateague in the fall, I like to bird watch. This is ramping up to be a great fall migration. We're getting, starting now really, lots of raptors, birds of prey heading down the coast. Lots of songbirds come and use Assateague as a migratory corridor to go further south. Um, a lot of them already left, things like our summertime herons and egrets and some of the other uh, terns and things like that have already started moving. So from September to early October and down, we see a lot of these birds migrating through. Oh, I didn't know it was that early. Yeah, yeah, and it really peaks around the end of September, early October. And then what I like after that is you get to see the incoming ducks and all the swans we get, usually by late November and December. So that kind of each week, if you look out, you're going to see different things almost at least every week you'll see different things flying around. So you come out to Assateague, mm -hmm. good vantage points are, you know, we're on the marsh trail. That's right. So That's right. So you've got great, you've got three distinct trails here apart from just walking on the beach. You've got the life of the marsh trail where we are now, nice little boardwalk here. You can probe around the marsh, see things like fiddler crabs and all sorts of wildlife in the water. Now quick, what's that over there? Flying over the treetops? Yeah. That is a... Is that an eagle? Bald eagle. Lisa, look at you. <laughs> She's a birder, everybody. <laughs> look at the white tail. Perfect. I Boom. That's because I was facing this way. <laughs> no, that's that's it. You never know. Here we are on Assateague, and there's a mature bald eagle soaring around, hitting the thermals, just enjoying the day. Excellent, excellent. So yes, bald eagles we get. Um, the pelicans, you know, even off the coast here, dolphins migrating. If you happen to be out on the beach or swimming in the water or paddle boarding or kayaking, you're going to see bottlenose dolphins migrating. He is coming right to us, He's too. He's coming closer, yeah. isn't he? Something we're going to look for today, too, that is another migrant we get that most people don't think about are migrating monarch butterflies who love the goldenrod, especially when the goldenrod comes into bloom on the beach. You see lots of uh, monarchs feeding on the flowers and then heading south all the way to Mexico. Little paper-thin wings that carry those insects all the way to Mexico. Yep. It's incredible. And we might want to mention that the National Park is open year-round. Yes, it is indeed. And we are, as we said, on the Life of the Marsh Trail. And this is handicap accessible it as is. well mm -hmm. as the Life of the Forest. Yep, and Life of the Dunes are the three basic trails and you can hike up and down the beach as well. And in addition to birding and hiking these wonderful mm -hmm. trails, other, you know, they have the bike trail or the bike path. Yep, so. and, the whole, and an entire bridge dedicated to bikes and hikers. So if you're paddling, say, from Ocean City or Berlin, you can get over here, cycle in the bike lane. Water trails, really, the back side of the island here is just full of little guts and creeks to explore and see birds and other wildlife. Um, and hiking like we're doing right now. So the fall's great. And then again, I love those cool evenings as well. You can spend a lot of fun yeah. on the beach in the daytime and they have a bonfire on the National Seashore at night. Now, if you we want. get a lot of questions about bonfires and mm -hmm. are they, you know, do you have to have a permit and how they, can you just. Yeah, I mean, there, you go to their website, there's a little rule about what to do. Basically, to start the fire below the rack line, the high tide line, so that the, it'll eventually kind of put the flame out. And when gotcha. you're done, put your fire out, you know, gotcha. for the next person gotcha. coming down the beach. And of course, there's always camping. Yes, yeah, it's a, just a great time of year for all of those things. Warm days, cool nights, lots of wildlife. It's a great place. Jim, it was a pleasure. Great seeing you. And Lisa. we got to see an eagle. And we saw an eagle. <laughs> Thank you so much.